Hello, welcome to Stackable, your all-in-one solution to building stunning websites with the WordPress block editor. In this video, we'll be showing you how to use Stackable's Flexbox controls to easily lay out your blocks so you can create instant page designs that are responsive and look good on all devices. Here we've made a call to action using our columns block with a heading block, a text block, and two button blocks nested inside. Select the inner column block and click on the Layout panel in the Layout tab of the Inspector. Scroll down and you will see the Flexbox controls for Inner Block Direction, Inner Block Justify, and Inner Block Alignment. You also have the Inner Block tab and a setting to align last block to bottom. With Inner Block Direction, you can choose to arrange your blocks in a horizontal or vertical layout. In the vertical direction, you can justify your content on the left, center, or right. Now for inner block alignment, we will need to set the content minimum height for the alignment to display properly, or else there is not enough space for Flexbox to take effect. In the vertical layout, you can align your content at the start, center, end, or with space between, space around, or space evenly. To use the Align Last Block to Bottom setting, let's duplicate our columns to see the effect. Now let's add more lines to our text in the first column. Select the second column and toggle on the Align Last Block to Bottom setting. As you can see, the button blocks of the second column will align at the bottom with the button blocks of the first column. Now let's check out the same Flexbox controls in the horizontal direction. You can justify your content at the start, center, end, space between, space around, or space evenly. Again, we'll need to set the content minimum height for the inner block alignment to display properly. In the horizontal layout, you can align your content at the top, center, or bottom. Inner block wrapping comes in handy when editing in tablet or mobile view. You can choose to wrap the inner blocks so that they don't squish together. Instead, they will flow into additional lines when they no longer fit on the initial line. Depending on your design, this can be a quick way to make your blocks responsive on various screen sizes. Flexbox can also be used in a columns block with multiple columns nested inside. Here we have three columns with a heading block, a text block, and a button block nested inside each column respectively. Just like what we did earlier with the inner blocks, you can justify and align your columns using the column justify and column alignment settings. You can justify your columns at the start, center, end, or with space between, space around, or space evenly. Columns can be aligned at the start, center, end, stretch, or baseline. At baseline, the baseline of each text aligns together. When you hover over the Flexbox controls, a text label will appear to help you identify the option. Clicking the options will trigger visual guides around your blocks or columns so you know what it's doing. That's it for Flexbox. Using Flexbox saves you time by simplifying complex layouts with a few clicks. We hope this quick tutorial helps you make the most of Flexbox in your layout designs with Stackable. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more Stackable updates, tips, and tutorials. You can also join our Facebook community or visit our website for more information. We'll link them down below.